All right, welcome back everybody for game three of week one of the DPL with Wigglytuff's Guild against the Legion of Boom. Here we have a battle of captains. We have our captain, Money Guy, against their captain, Vess. So this matchup, we could have spent a little bit more time on, but we have a, we had an interesting game plan going in. As you can see, we have a Mudsdale and a Pheasantipity. This draft, I would say, is not the strongest, but we had to make some sacrifices because our top end is so strong. As you can see, we have Terra, King Gambit, Latios, Meowscarada, and Quackwavel, which is absolutely crazy. But as a result, the lower end of our draft is a little bit weaker, but let's just hop right into it. Let's see how it went. So we're gonna lead off with our Meowscarada into the Ursaluna. We are going to prioritize a T-Spike because T-Spike is really good into this team as you can see it affects four mons and it it really hinders them so we get up at the t-spike we take a body slam don't get parried go for triple axle and miss and our meowscarada is dead now we could have just gone into mudsdale there uh i think that both turns we could have just gone into mudsdale and just prioritized rocks or going for body press i think either was fine uh the team is quite weak to mudsdale overall so uh, I liked that play, but we prioritized the T-Spike. There's still a Defogger on the other side of the field in Talonflame, so don't know if I agree with that. Mudsdale is going to come in now. As Swords Dance comes out, we go for a Rock Tomb to slow down the Ursaluna, uh, which also catches the Talonflame on the switch. We end up going for Body Press. We end up being faster because of the Rock Tomb, and now our defense is up, and we are able to go for Body Press again. And now we are going to take another Earthquake and just go for press uh, one more time, I believe, here this turn as Talonflame comes in, takes 31%. Jirachi doubles in on Rock Tomb, and uh, of course, it's going to be still faster than Mudsdale because it is quite a bit faster. Rocky Helmet chips the Jirachi as it knocks out Mudsdale with the Iron Head, and now King Gambit comes in, gets a uh, a big Katao cleave off, but they are Culber, and as a result, our King Gambit has to take an attack, takes a U-turn, Talonflame comes in and goes for the feather dance which is going to allow talon to live and get off the flame body burn so that's pretty big our gambit is now burned it's at minus two it's still fallen two and it's terra darked so right here we're going to switch out into latios as defog comes through and uh the talon flame gets rid of the t-spike finally raging bolt there's a bunch of switching going around <laughs> hold on let's let's just back that up for a second so we switch out into latios as defog comes out and then our Latios doubles to Quackwavel. I'm assuming trying to catch maybe the Ursa Lunasac. I don't know. Uh, but Raging Bolt is what comes in. Then we switch out into Latios on the Raging Bolt, expecting the electric move, and the Jirachi doubles in. Now we're going to go for uh, Draco Meteor, and that's going to take out the Jirachi. And now the Abama Snow is in. So we're going to make a switch out into Pheasantipity on Earthquake. Good read to go for the Earthquake there. Very nice. Catches pretty much everything, and it does the most damage to Pheasantipity. Uh, Pheasantipity should be the special wall here into, like, Raging Bolts, so Earthquake's a good bring. Uh, we are going to go for the U-turn here. Do not get the Toxic Chain, and we're going to go into, into Quackwavel hard uh, and take a, a significant amount of damage there. And uh, Giga Drain comes through. We go for Draco Meteor. Do not knock out the Abomb Snow there, and uh, Blizzard is basically going to pick us off, but before we go down, we get up a Tailwind. And this is going to set up our Quackwavel to be able to get off a Swords Dance, However, Giga Drain comes through and is able to uh, do a lot to our Quackable to the point where uh, it doesn't even matter anymore. The uh, Raging Bolt can easily knock us out. Uh, now, but we, if we had an upper hand on this set, it would have been great into the Raging Bolt right there because we were plus three attack and it would have uh, basically forced a 50-50 the next turn, which would have been pretty big. But that's not what happens and the Raging Bolt is able to knock, knock us out with Thunderclap and all that's left is King Gambit and Pheasantipity. Now our Gambit is rest and it goes for it here and it's going to get back most of its health. Now, I don't know if I agro agree with going into Gambit first when we have Pheasantipity to check this. Uh, Although, Pheasantipity does allow in everything else, basically, and we can't really rest on anything else. It's a lot harder, uh, because the Ursaluna is a threat, of course, uh, and the Ogre Pawn, especially, is a threat. It is Terra Ogre Pawn, so it can just, like, crush us if, it, if we're that low. So, Money took the opportunity to rest this turn. Uh, then the Discharge comes out, does not para us, but we go for Katao, get a crit, and it ends up being Helmet. Uh, and then the interaction between Thunderclap and Su Sucker Punch is always funny, because they're basically the same move. Uh, and it does not work out for us. We get off a Sucker Punch, we get one more kill, but Dippity is pretty much dead to Ogre Pond Terrastalizing and going for the Ivy Cudgel, and that is going to be our Game 3. So unfortunately, we do lose that one, um, and that is uh, going to be our series score now 2-1. and one. 
Uh, but we do have another game for you, of course, coming tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. You're not going to want to miss that game. Like the video if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.